Hi everyone and welcome to day 20. We've made it to day 20 of the August challenge from sedentary to strong. We've got another strength workout today so we're going to focus on core control and strength. We're going to do a single leg strength exercise and we're going to try and incorporate an upper body pull exercise. So we're going to do lots of different movement patterns, maybe a little bit of cardio as well. But first things first, let's get warmed up. So I just want you to start standing up nice and tall with some knee hugs. So hug your knee towards your chest, take a few steps and switch sides. Okay, we just got 11 days left in the challenge. So good time to just remind yourself to stay consistent, keep on going, almost made it to the end of a very active month. Okay, one more. Perfect. Okay, arms together facing forward, feet shoulder width apart, and I'm going to open my arms diagonally. Bring it back to the center, another way. Okay, just keep nice and gentle. Don't force it too much. Just go as far as you can comfortably go back. Keep switching sides. One more each way. Last one. Perfect. Okay, and let's just finish with some shoulder rolls. So big shoulder rolls going behind you four times. Okay, and let's do some big shoulder rolls coming forwards. Okay, so just release that little bit of tension and now bouncing on the spot. Okay, quick warm up, just get the blood flowing, get the heart rate elevated slightly, and then we'll get straight into our first exercise. Okay, so you're going to need something to hold on to today, ideally a small hand weight, but if you haven't got that, you can use um, a full bottle of water, a yoga block, a can of food, okay, anything that you can comfortably hold in one hand that ideally has a little bit of weight to it to add that little bit of resistance. Okay, give me 10 more seconds, bouncing on the spot, shaking off the arms, nice and relaxed. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so let's start with the core. We're gonna lie on our back and we're gonna do a dead bug. So let me show you. Okay, I'm just gonna show you first of all the variation. So, lying on the floor, Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is brace my core. Make sure there's no gap underneath your lower back, okay? So when you're really kind of uh, uh, tensing the core, kind of creating that pressure, you wanna try and have a neutral spine. So try and make sure there's no gap underneath your lower back. Then you're gonna lift your shoulders up and your head and you're gonna tuck your chin in. From here, I'm gonna lift my feet up, okay? At a 90 degree angle. And then my arms up to the ceiling, okay? So one version you can do is just your legs. So your leg is going to go out and what you're trying to do when you extend your leg is hold the pressure, keep your lower back stuck to the floor and bring it back in and switch sides. Okay, so we're going to do 20 repetitions. If you want a slightly more advanced version, as your left leg goes, your right arm also goes behind you. So you're kind of opposite side up and then you switch left arm. And notice how the other leg stays still and the other arm stays still, okay? So kind of imagine you're holding onto a rope. If it's quite uncomfortable to keep your head up, try this with your head on the floor, or maybe with your head on the pillow would be even better. Okay, so let's go. We're gonna try and do 20 repetitions now. I'm gonna do it with my arms, but feel free to just do it with your legs. Okay, so first things first, create that pressure in the core, nothing underneath the lower back. I'm actually gonna put my head on the floor just to kind of rest the neck a little bit, but if you have a pillow, that would be ideal. Legs up, arms up, and let's go, okay? Mm -hmm. Hold that pressure, but make sure you're still breathing. One, nice and slowly. Two, three, four, five. Okay, if 20 is too many, feel free to do a bit less. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. You don't have to go as far as I'm going, just as far as you can comfortably go. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And rest. And I forgot to mention, if that's too difficult as well, just doing it with the legs, Instead of using your legs, you could just do your arms, okay? So this is a slightly more accessible option. 
if it's too difficult to extend your legs. Okay, so just keep that pressure and just do your arms. Okay, let's stand up. Okay, so we're going to move on to the second exercise now, which is called a lawn mower lunge. So what I'm going to do, I'm holding a weight in my right hand. So my left leg is going to lunge forward and then I'm going to hold the lunge. Okay, my right knee is floating above the floor. I'm nice and strong. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach out in front of my left foot with the weight as if I'm holding onto a lawnmower cable and then I'm going to pull my elbow back 10 times. Okay, we're going to stay in that lunge position and do 10 rows. You can do this without holding on to anything if you want. And then we're going to do 10 on the other side. Okay, so let's get the weight ready in your right hand, feet together, big lunge forward with your left leg, pause, and now reach in front of you towards the floor and pull. Pull that elbow back to your hip, two, three. Okay, lower body's really gonna be working here. Four, five, six, keep going. Seven, eight, nine, 10. Woo. Okay, so that's an isometric hold. So your, your legs really working to hold you in that position, okay? Weight in your left hand. We're gonna lunge forward with the right leg now in three, two, one, lunge, hold it, reach to the floor and pull. One, let's go. 10 reps. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! All right. Weight down. Give me 20 jumping jacks. One, two, Six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. All right, rest. Really good. Okay, we're gonna try and do two more rounds. Let's get straight to it, onto the floor. Okay, first things first, create that pressure in the core, so the core is working, lower back is flat, lift the legs up, lift the arms up, and then go for the option, only legs, only arms, or legs and arms, 20 reps. Let's go, breathing. One, two, three, six, seven. Okay, make sure the core is always working. Eight, but you're still able to breathe. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Up. All right. Weight into your right hand. Okay. Left leg is going to lunge forward in three, two, one. Hold the lunge, reach to the floor and pull 10 reps two three if this is too difficult put your knee on the floor okay four five six seven eight nine ten all right okay switch sides weight in the left hand right leg lunges forward hold it reach and pull Seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! All right, weight down. Twenty jumping jacks. Let's go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. All right, give yourself ten seconds. Let's get that last last round in okay and then you're free free to go about your day do whatever you want but try and stay active okay stay safe out there okay onto your back okay first things first create the pressure okay core is switched on good legs up arms up and let's go one 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, you don't have to go at my pace. You can always pause it and take your time to finish and then jump back in. 17, 18. I'm just trying to keep the workouts within that kind of 10 to 15 minutes. 20. Nice. Really good. Okay, here we go. Last lunges. Okay, weight in your right hand. Feet together. Lunge forward with your left leg. Pause, reach, and let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! Left hand, right leg forward, pause, reach. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Amazing. All right. Finish it off with these 20 jumping jacks. Let's go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good work today. Okay, like I said, today is day 20. You've done 20 days of these videos, ideally, or just being more active in general. I'd be interested to know. Can you remember how you felt when you did the first two, three, four videos compared to how you feel now? I've kind of kept it more or less at the same intensity. So do you feel like the, the videos are getting easier? In other words, do you feel like you've got stronger? Do you feel like you've got fitter? Okay, I'd love to know. So send me a message, comment on the video, and I will see you tomorrow.